Appreciate everybody joining me on uh, short notice. This will be a, a very uh, quick press conference. Um, uh, what I have to say is pretty short and, and to the point. Um, chill the out and relax. We're three weeks in. Now let's make some moves. The Fantasy Football Show, it begins right now. This is the Fantasy Football Show with your host, Smitty. Take a lap. Everybody and their mother is freaking out right now, looking internally at their team, as you should be. Who cares about anybody else's team but your own? But when you're looking at only your team and you're not looking at everybody else's situation, you're going to be a little bit blinded as to like how bad things are, how bleak things are. But if we take 2022 September, early September ADP data, walking into week one, and we really look at who is doing well and who's not. It's crazy. It's 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 insane. It makes you like really question what's really even happening uh, through three weeks of fantasy football. So when you when you say something like, "Oh, so and so's rankings were off," uh, pre pre draft rankings were off, or I can't believe how many you know bus picks you might have, or he has, or she has, or you have or anybody has, I have, you got to take a look at the top 36 overall and say, who's even doing good? Like who, if you did, if you look at your own rankings, they're completely loaded with disappointments or busts or however you want to describe them, decent players or or disappointing or to the moon players. So let's take a look at, at what, what we've got. Like JT, most people are going to say he's busted through the beginning part of the year. I don't know that I would say JT is decent or a, a bust he's kind of in between but i think people that drafted him number one are going to say hey look i i get it you know he he's delivered a little bit but for the price i paid he's way more than playing under the the decent tag so if we put put that there christian mccaffrey's actually playing relatively uh decent so i'm going to go ahead and put uh mccaffrey at, with, with a decent label we're going to I'm going to tag him with that. Um, I think that's fair. Uh, so let's go ahead and give him that. Eckler has been a complete disappointment so far. So we're going to copy and paste that label right there. Henry has disappointed. He, he had a good game at week number three. But for the most part, people were panicking, ready to jump ship, walking into week three. So we can't say one week has really made him rebound. But there's hope for him to get that decent label, maybe, if he delivers again this week. But I would sell high on Derrick Henry. Uh, Dalvin Cook given that he's hurt doesn't matter if you're hurt or not your dis your disappointment right and andy hasn't been playing well so he he did okay in week number three before he went out but he's been a complete disappointment to a lot of people so being banged up is part of the part for the course our first guy that's actually on the moon that would be uh, uh cooper cup number six overall we literally like when people start saying smitty i can't believe how many predictions we all have going wrong? Oh my God, the Moon Man list looks horrible. Ha ha ha. There are people that come in and literally just like trash, you know, some of the stuff we've been talking about and amping up all off season. Look, anybody's top like six overall is gonna feel like trash. Everybody's top six is gonna feel like absolute trash right now. Cooper Cup's the only player that has done, you could even say well, uh, uh, McCaffrey's done well, but that's it. Well, and then good. Cooper Cup's the only player doing really good. Najee Harris, complete bust so far. Complete. Uh, JJ, given the price that you paid, you feel this way. Now, I do not feel all these guys are going to continue to play this way. I'm just trying to paint a picture that when you're thinking, oh, why me or my team looks horrible everybody else is feeling the same way justin jefferson total underperformer joe mixon total underperformer jamar chase i mean he scored two touchdowns but he's dropped or, or failed to convert on on like three tds between week one and week three alone and he hasn't delivered people are freaking out about him alvin Kamara, complete bust so far look at this list the top 11 overall the top 12 let's finish it off deandre swift now out for at least two weeks and struggling anyway uh look at this one player one player on the entire top 12 is absolutely playing out of their mind and well there's only one additional player in christian mccaffrey playing decent or good everybody else is a complete bust so you have to put this in perspective when you look at your team and you're like 
What's going on? It's why me? Why me? No, why everybody? Everybody's feeling the same way. I mean, you could put decent here for Devontae Adams. I mean, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't shock me if somebody felt like he was, you know, getting a thumb down because he had kind of two really mediocre games um, of his three, but the fact that he scored and he's done okay. Nick Chubb, here's our second uh, moon man so far. Nick Chubb. It is Cooper Cup and Nick Chubb. That's it. That's it so far. Diggs has been good. We can put one next to Diggs as well. Um, we'll, put, we'll give Diggs a, a rocket ship. Kelsey, we can give Kelsey a rocket ship. We have literally three players in a row. To the moon. Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Three in a row. We did it. We did it. Three in a row, Mom. Saquon. Um, we're going to put a decent next to him until we, this is before the game kicks off. This could turn into a rocket if he has a really good game. Javante, we, we got to be fair. Javante is is a complete thumbs down at this point. Uh, Aaron Jones has been hit and miss. We could put a decent next to him, but I think his owners are pretty upset at him today. They might say, no, don't don't give him the, the credit he doesn't deserve right there. CeeDee Lamb, I mean, it doesn't matter if Dak went down or not. He's a disappointment. Josh Allen is straight fire and worth that second round pick that everybody made fun of and said you can't take him that early. Debo, uh, he's done okay, but the fact that he isn't delivering even close to what you probably expected or paid for, that's got to be that's got to be right there. Tyreek Hill has been hit and miss, so you could literally say he did so good in week two you want to put a rocket ship next to him, but I don't know that that's fair. I think decent is the best you can put next to him. Fournette, um, I, you know, what's Fournette even scoring? I'm going to look up Fournette on my phone right here and make sure I'm not being ultra critical of Fournette. 14, 8, and 9. Yeah, he's been, I mean, that's a thumbs down. Like, you, you're not going to, you, you have one game barely over 10. We got to be fair. If we're going to, we're going to be fair with these other players, we got to be fair with Fournette. Andrews to the moon. Rocket man. To the moon. Evans has been hurt and hasn't been delivering anyway so there you go connor uh complete disappointment uh been hurt as well elliot complete disappointment been hurt as well elliot complete disappointment aj brown is is a rocket man we'll give aj brown a rocket to the moon mahomes at 43 points in week one 21 and 20 not like an amazing week two and three but he's done an, enough to give him a rocket ship i think to the moon uh we need to be fair with him kyle pitts is disappointed uh, to most people, even though he did pretty well in week number three, but he's still extremely disappointing. Uh, Keenan Allen, complete bust so far for people that paid top dollar. Uh, uh, Pittman's been injured, so he's been disappointing. And I'm not telling you that I'm not buying low on a lot of these players. I'm merely trying to paint the bleak picture that everybody else is uh, feeling in use, and everybody seems to think that they're the only one. We got Herbert, total bust. Higgins, we can't put a, a rocket ship next to, even though I feel like he's a great buy low and he, he looks good, but he, he has three points, 16 points, 11 points. I mean, he's a decent. We won't put a, a, a bust next to him, but he has been, been uh, you know, a decent because of you know one game but etn total bust i did not manipulate or massage this adp data at all i grabbed the top 36 off fantasy pros and threw them on screen you literally have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 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 two out of the top 36 total bust that is 60 percent of the entire top 36 is a, a a total, total disappointment. Not not decent total. And if we throw the decent in with the disappointing, we have eight players playing well. Eight players playing so well, we're, we're willing to give them a rocket ship and say they're, they're doing really, really well. That That's 28 players divided by 36. That gives you 77% of the fantasy football population inside the top 36 ADP-wise that are completely underperforming. 77% is absolutely crazy I, I i i i had to make this video because because i'm talking with people one after the other where they feel like their team is different than everybody else's it's not you're not special we're all suffering together and only eight percent of the top 12 one player is delivering amazing value one player cooper cup out of the top 12 overall is delivering aside from McCaffrey and Cooper Cup you could qualify everyone in this top 12 but those two as a bust so far through week number 
number three. So we all need to calm down a little bit and, and recognize the situation, recognize we're looking at something we haven't seen in a long, long time. We can get down on ourselves, you can get down on me, you can get down on whoever you want and say, why did I draft Jamar Chase? Why did I draft DeAndre Swift? Why did I draft Eckler? Why did I draft Henry or Cook or Najee or Mixon or Kamara or Javante or CD Lamb? It's all over the place. We either adjust and adapt or we go down with the ship, not realizing that everybody else is struggling to fill the holes in their ship. This is the best time of year for fantasy football because you can you can swoop in like a vulture and pick up the scraps that can still turn into riches and you can leave the rags where they are. I'll have a buy low, sell high video coming, but but quick note i would say the early candidates for being good buy lows are going to be eckler justin jefferson for sure mixon I, I buy a little bit on mixon right now his, his owners are disappointed uh, jamar chase i'm buying low all day long he's, he's got two touchdowns and should have another two or three of them camara i'll buy low at the right price swift i'll buy low even though he's out for at least two weeks because you can stash him on your bench and then get him for like week seven on i'd buy low on javante at the right price i would buy low on debo at the right price but i do feel shanahan's gonna get him hurt i still buy low on kyle pitts i still buy low on Pittman. i buy low on higgins and i still buy low on herbert there's a lot of value on this board there's a lot of opportunity on this board and this little psa has been to just kind of get you guys in the right frame of mind because I understand where you're at. I understand how you feel, but uh, I think it's important to get this out there. So comment below with, with the players you want to potentially uh, uh, go get with your trade offers, and I'll see you all a little later for the um, 7 p.m. Eastern show, and we'll go over this more. Go buy low. Go make offers. Go change your destiny. Don't, don't complain about what everybody else is dealing with. Let's, let's dig in it and make a change. This is the best time. The, the negatives right here create buying opportunity and potential to win your league. Most people win their league. This is phase two. Phase one is the draft. Phase two is coming in and taking advantage of the panic. Don't sleep at the wheel during phase two because you're so upset about being a victim in phase one. When everybody's been a victim and everybody still is a victim right now, together nobody's special you're not special you're not suffering in special fashion everybody is suffering right now look at the board now get out there and make some trades comment below with what you got going on this is the fantasy football show with your host smitty